Welcome to my Platinum Guide for Gun Gun Gun. I apologize in advance for not posting this to the PSN Profiles website. I originally wrote the guide for said site, but found a whole lot of red tape from their moderators, for it occurred to me that, hey dumbass, you have a gaming channel on YouTube, just post it there. So if you're looking to plat Gun Gun Gun, allow me to make it a lot easier for you. This game's a 3 out of 10 on the difficulty scale with no missables and it should take you about 8 hours. Unless you're lucky enough to have access to that secret 10 minute clear, but more on that later. Step 1. Play the prologue. This part's a breeze. Just press X a bunch to get through the minimal story, then play the 3 challenges thrown at you, which are kill 20 enemies without dying, collect 5 weapons before dying, then earn a 20x multiplier before dying. This is much easier than it sounds once you realize how much the bomber kills boost your multiplier. Step 2. Play your way to 1 million bounty total, and mop any miscellaneous trophies which didn't pop naturally. Most of what's left to you is grinding 500 kills with each weapon type, buying every hat, and getting a cumulative bounty total over a million in the main play section of the game. There are also trophies involving standing still for a while, scoring a million points in one round, and so on, but these will definitely come naturally on your way to that 1 million bounty mark. I'll discuss how to get this done most efficiently in a moment. First, let's talk about getting the right stage each time you play. When you press X on play, you're thrown into a random stage, and the stage you want spawns you on a red train car with hay to your right. You'll know it's the correct section because there aren't a bunch of tiered platforms to bother with. If you don't get it straight away, which is likely, just press options to return to the menu, and click play again until you land it. Your goal here is to get an auto rifle, preferably the Kalashnikov, and sit in the far left corner, firing straight ahead. Once you've set the right stick to aim in a certain direction, your gun never stops firing in that direction. Apart from the potential for bullets hitting you while you're reloading, or parachuting enemies landing in your vicinity, you should be able to safely cover this position without dying until you reach 3 million or so points in single player. If you play this way in co-op, which I highly recommend, you'll likely get to 10 million plus score before dying. Just know that you have to manually reload every time your magazine is empty by pressing square. Also, because your bounty will increase faster and more safely without you picking up coins, you're better off staying put. Health pickups can be worthwhile to chase, but only once you're extremely comfortable with the controls. I recommend going to settings, then gameplay, and turning off the vibration feature, otherwise you're going to feel like you've been mowing a lawn at the end of a play session. You can go to extras, then hats, in order to purchase the hats, just know that they're purely cosmetic. You'll have plenty of money for each hat once you reach a million in total bounty. And that total bounty is seen under stats in the extras menu, where they list it as lifetime earnings. This is also where you can track your weapon kills, etc. Some trophies won't pop until you completely quit the game and restart it, then begin firing in a new round of play. And almost all of the trophies will auto unlock for new players who join a round of co-op with someone that's already gotten over a million in lifetime earnings. The notable exception being the trophy for surviving more than 5 minutes in a single round, which everyone will need to do in single player. Because of this, if you know someone who already has the plat, you can get this shiny in as little as 10 minutes by joining on their save file, then just playing and surviving for 5 minutes in a round by yourself. The majority of players though are looking at 8 hours of solo grinding, or about 5 hours of co-op to clear the bounty requirement, since most of us don't know people who already have this plat. You can swap between two weapons by pressing L1 or R1. Unfortunately, your secondary weapon is always the starting gun, the USP9. It's a solid weapon, but you're unlikely to use it for high scoring runs. The Kalashnikov, MP5, and FAL are all great options for surviving to high scores. The Martini Henry is also amazing, but routinely leaves you open to incoming bullet damage. The shotgun has a nice spread and decent mag, but doesn't do enough damage to heavies for long run viability. Lastly, the Rhino and Stetchkin have small magazines and don't reload quick enough for your purposes in the final grinding phase. Your bullets will negate enemy bullets whenever they meet, your best bet is staggering reloads when playing with a friend, the higher your score is in a run, the faster you'll get to that million in total bounty, in essence, don't waste your time in lots of low scoring rounds, since lengthy survivability is key here. Anyway, that's all I have, because that's all there is to it. Enjoy the mindless grind and that rare plat. Be sure to share the shiny with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe for more content because I post stuff like this all the time.